Yo, what's happening out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a solo money glitch workaround. Guys, SP to MP has been patched, but there is still a method to actually get the swap characters thing going and to get the outfit transfers along with the apartment transfers. So we can still do that, but we need to do a specific method to get that to work. All right, so once again, shout out to the founder, which is Shift Team. Uh, he'll be in the description. And shout out to CBD420 for actually giving me some tips on how to get the white screen. So guys, we have to be spawning online with the white screen now. It's not like my previous videos where you could just run and go eat another peyote online. We're actually going to be bypassing all that. And it's due to some changes uh, while getting glitched out in story mode and some changes in timing, okay? I was able to hit this first try on Xbox. I will go over PS4, um, you know, steps as well as I possibly can, but that's pretty much it. So we're going to be doing the CEO offices and the apartments in this. And remember, it transfers outfits and it transfers, you know, the uh, the apartments as well. It's both outfits and apartments. So on your main character, we don't want to lose any outfits. So on your main character, buy the three most expensive apartments, the Eclipse Penthouse Suites in slots four, five, and six. Must be slots four, five, and six, guys. There's no way around that. All right, those are the only ones that transfer. All right, then you want to go buy the CEO, um, you know, you want to buy a CEO tower also, the Maze Bank Tower. That's the one that you want to have purchased already, okay? That's very, very important. So I'm going to go over here and show it to you right now. So CEO offices, you want Maze Bank Tower right there, all right, to start out the glitch on your main character, right? So this is all the main character setups you need. Obviously, if you're transferring joggers and stuff, you guys that merge, you know what to do. Set up your male character for outfits that you want to transfer over to your female. All right, so now that we've, you know, set up the entire, you know, male character or first character in this case, just switch over to your second character, which is our female in this uh, video. So I'm going to go switch over to my second character right over here. Once I pick her, it's going to load me down and then we're going to have to set up her apartments and her CEO as well. OK, so I'm going to open up my phone. I'm on my second character and check it out. I actually wanted to show you guys what this is the second way around. OK, you can make a lot of money this way. So I'm setting up for the first way around, but I've already, you know, transferred the second way around as well. So check it out. I'm actually going to show you guys how much you make the second time around when you do this glitch. So I'm, you know, putting out uh, I'm transferring or not transferring. Sorry, I'm buying over these apartments with cheap ones. I just made about one point five million and then I'm actually going to go buy the CEO office, which is right now Arcadius. So now I'm going to go ahead and buy Maze Bank West and then I'm going to buy it and I should actually get $1 million right now. So as you can see right there, I made $1.5 million plus another million. That's $2.5 million right there. And that's your second go around. OK, but this is also what you need to start out the glitch for the first go around. OK, so I'm going to show you exactly what you need now in the second character, but that's what you make the second time you do this glitch. But the first time you want it set up just like this, Maze Bank West as a CEO office. And then you want to go to your apartments. And I already pretty much set it up for it because I bought over them with the cheap apartments. So you want the cheapest, uh, you know, properties in slots four, five and six, just like that. But I just wanted to show you guys that I had already done the glitch twice. And the second time you make that extra million off the CEO office. So now that we're all set up, uh, there's one more thing you need to do on your female character or your second character you want to set your spawn location to either a garage or apartment. That will also increase the chances of you getting the white screen, okay? So at this point, leave GTA Online. I like to load up a game save that I have. Uh, I, it's, it's Trevor, and he basically spawns right in front of the peyote in story mode. So that's what I'm loading up right now. I have a higher success rate when I do this anyways, okay? I've been hitting this pretty consistently. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting four stars. So you need to put in the cheat. PlayStation and Xbox cheat will be in the pinned comment. Okay, so look out for that. So I, I like to get four stars and then I like to go ahead and eat the peyote. All right, so this is the peyote at the baseball field. I've been using it the whole time uh, for all these glitches. I'll leave a link in the description for all the peyote locations. Now, we're going to go ahead and transform or hallucinate into an animal. It's usually a dog or a pig or a cat or a deer or something like that. So, Xbox guys, we have to go to our settings and go into free aim because most of our friends are in assisted aim. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just hit join game on my friend that I know is an assisted aim. Uh, PlayStation, you guys just need a recent activity ready to go. All right, so right now I'm going to accept the first alert and then sit on the second alert. Okay, so right now I'm just sitting on the second alert and I'm actually waiting for the cops to kill me. 
Now, you need them to kill you, um, and that's pretty much the only way to do this part of the glitch. You, you need them to kill you, and the timing now, this is where I said everything changes up a little bit. Xbox, you can keep pressing your dashboard to actually look. So check it out, he's on the ground. Now I'm gonna go ahead and accept that alert. Right when I hit that white screen, I'm gonna go ahead and hit go offline, okay? And then just spam B to come back to GTA. All right, so as you can see right here, I'm offline, spam B to come back. That's all you gotta do. And then you're gonna accept the alert that's coming up now. So that one, PlayStation. You guys are doing basically the same thing, but right when you fall down and die, you're going to a recent activity, you're accepting the alert. Right when you guys hit the white screen, same thing, go offline, okay? So now we're back on the same page. I like to wait a little bit. I don't like to fully uh, spawn into story mode, you know, to actually go back online. On Xbox, it's hard to join friends if you wait too long to get back online. So, on Xbox, before you guys load into story mode fully, I would say go ahead and go back online. So check it out. I'm back online now, and this is what you want to do. You actually want to put in the cheat, and you want to get four stars this time, okay? We're not going to get busted anymore on Xbox. It seems to work better this way. So I'm going to go ahead and get four stars. I'm going to change my, um, my targeting mode to free aim because my friend, once again, is an assisted aim, the friend that I'm using. And I'm going to go ahead and get four stars. So I'm going to put in that cheat. You know, that cheat code for story mode to actually get, you know, cops on you. And I'm going to do it four times so that I can get four stars. Once I've gotten four stars, I'm going to go ahead and hit join game on my friend. And I'm going to get that first alert, accept it, sit on the second alert. All right, so this is where we really have to use our ears, Xbox guys. PlayStation, you guys will be on a white screen. But right when you die, you'll actually, you know, you'll actually be able to see yourself. All right. And we're going to be counting to about two seconds after we die to accept that alert, Xbox guys. PlayStation, you guys are waiting one to two seconds as well, but on the second, you know, on the one to two seconds, once that's up, you guys are just going to your recent activity. So I have the volume up right here because I want everybody to be able to hear what's going on because you have to actually use your ears at this part, especially on Xbox, okay? So we're listening here. Boom, just died, one, two, and then I'm going ahead and accepting that alert. PlayStation, you guys are counting one, two as well, and then you're going straight to that recent activity and accepting it, okay? So that is the new timing to actually be able to get the white screen more consistently. The only way to do this is to get the white screen. If you're looking exactly like this, you know, if this is the outcome that you guys have joining GTA Online and you're kind of just in the sky and then it goes white again and then it comes back like this, you're good. So wait for that loading thing to go away. There we go. It went away. I press pause right away and I actually go to swap character. You must do that quickly okay that is the only way to get this to work now you must swap character very quickly remember our last character online was our female so i'm going to select my male because my male has all the apartments all the ceos and the outfits that i want transferred so go ahead and wait on this long loading screen you're eventually going to time out once you time out you're going to be stuck here in the clouds on quitting session wait for the clouds to unfreeze okay once the clouds have unfrozen you are free to quit your game just completely quit the app. Xbox and PlayStation completely quit the app. PlayStation, go ahead and restart the app and just start holding L1 and R1 until you see the girl with the peace sign. Xbox, before we restart, we have to go to manage game. Then we have to go to our gamer tag and hit delete from console. Spam B to go back to the game and start it back up. Now, Xbox, we're going to be hit with this right here. Syncing. Cancel that sync and then stop it. Remember, PlayStation, you guys are holding L1 and R1 right now when you restart the game and you will we'll both be hit with this display calibration screen, okay? PlayStation, you're still holding L1 and R1, and Xbox, we're just waiting for this screen to come up. Once it comes up, just select A or X, accept it. PlayStation, let go of L1 and R1, and uh, you guys can go ahead and load into a story mode and go into an invite-only session. Xbox, we're gonna load into the prologue just like this. You wanna go ahead and quit out of the prologue. And I don't mean it through the start menu, I mean literally quit the entire app once again restart the app and then it's gonna try to sync and it's gonna ask you where do you want to sync from hit from this console remember we're always deleting from the console we're always syncing from the console this is what you always have to do guys to fix your data whether you fail the glitch or whether you hit the glitch always this is the most important part of dm or sp to mp glitches now playstation and xbox once we're both back in story mode go ahead and go into an invite only session all right so we're both going to be hit with these rockstar games online policies hit that check mark and then press submit once you've done that, everything should be done correctly. You will load back online as your second character. Check for your outfits. If you, you know, you were doing modded outfits, make sure they all transferred. And then if you're doing it for the money glitch, like most of us do, 
go ahead and buy cheap properties over those expensive ones. You see the cheap names and the expensive prices are all there. That means they've successfully successfully transferred 520 grand on that very first one. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the next cheapest thing I could find and put it over slot five. And then there we go, 427 grand. And then I'm gonna put the next cheapest property right over slot six, which is the last expensive one I got. And I just made 466. So, the, so there's $1.5 million. And then to set up the CEO, once again, remember this is the first time around. The last time I did it was the second time around. So your first time around doing this, you will lose $250,000 in this part, okay? But then, so check it out right now. You buy, you replace over it, $250,000 I just lost. But remember in the beginning of the video where I showed you I made the 1.5 off the apartment and then I made an extra million buying Mays Bank? That's the next thing you do. You'll do this glitch one more time and your second go around, you'll still make the one and a half million off the apartments and then you'll buy Mays Bank West for the CEO offices and you'll make that extra million. So it's 1.5 million the first time around, 2.5 million the second time around. That's how this glitch works, guys. Still working after the recent patch today. So take advantage of this, guys. We might have it for the weekend. We might not. Let's see what happens. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that red subscribe button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.